So we're a little farther now into Rich's Woods. And as we look around, we can see there are a number of trees of different species here. We can see some beech. We can see some, uh, I believe that's a hickory. We can see a lot of bitter nut some hickory. soft maple. And we have some sugar maple here. And so one of the things that you would need to do in a woods is to do an evaluation of taps per acre. Tree ID is one of the very first things that you would want to do and we are at the time of year where that can become very difficult. Tree ID based on what you see as bark uh, takes some experience. Uh, leaves can be help, real helpful. Here next, we're going to do a quick evaluation using a, a basal area reader. And it's just a little square that is mathematically designed to tell us what trees are in our circle. What we're going to swing a circle and measure the trees that fill that square. And then we have a table uh, that we would fill out and that will tell us uh, based on long worked out mathematics will tell us how many maples would be in an acre. So Rich, if you want to be the guide, and he's simply going to tell which trees are in and which trees are out, and we're only looking at maple trees in this case. And then I'm going to take the uh, measuring stick and see what size that tree is, and that is what would be written into the chart. Okay, that one's in. Another issue that we would look at is <clears throat> tree health in general. That's related to soil type, it's related to how crowded things are. You can see by the looks of these trees, they, they appear to be growing at a, a, a healthy rate. Uh, once we get in and do some tapping, how fast your tap holes close can be a, a pretty good information. If you're doing some thinning, you can take a look at the growth rings and see what, how, how big the growth rings are in general in the woods to give you an idea of whether trees are growing fast or slow. Realizing, of course, that any tree uh, will be guided in a speed of growing by how tight the canopy is with other trees. The other thing we tend to look at in a woods is the soil types. Soil types can, at the extremes, can be a problem for sugar maples. If you have excessively drained soils, such as sands or gravels, or if you have extremely heavy soils, the maple trees tend to suffer when you get extreme wets or extreme dries. We're in a little bit different spot here in the woods now and scanning this area with a basal area reader, we've come up with 11 trees. And then of course we have to put those into the chart and translate that into taps per acre. We talked a little bit about tree health and if we can see this tree right here to my left, this one has a severe um, canker growing in that tree even though the tree generally looks pretty good otherwise, this kind of canker can spread disease within the, the woods. And so if you're going to come in and tap this area, one of the things you would want to do is, is remove trees that show this, this uh, severe of canker. Mm -hmm. Now once you have the information on how many taps per acre you have, there is a spreadsheet that's available from the Cornell Maple Program. And in that spreadsheet, once you know taps per acre and you make an estimate of how many uh, drops or how many taps you want to put on a lateral line, you can input those two pieces of information along with pricing information from uh, wherever you're going to buy your supplies. And it will calculate for you exactly what your cost per tap, your cost per acre will be for installing, which is a very handy piece of information.